This tutorial shows the graphical data recording in the SCON Studio as a measurement and diagnostic tool. Up to four channels can be evaluated and visualized. The recorded data can be exported. As a starting point, we assume that the startup procedure has been accomplished and that you have a motor and power supply connected to the SCON device. Our example system is a brushed DC motor. There are three different possibilities to start the data recorder. Select one by clicking. First, the individual channels, the sampling and the trigger must be configured. Press Settings. A click on the button activates or deactivates the channel respectively. It's mandatory that the sequence of the active channels is ascending from channel 1, 2, 3 to 4. So let's activate channel 1. We have to attribute a variable from the drop-down list to channel 1. In our case we select Actual Current Averaged. Clicking on the checkbox Auto Scale activates or deactivates the automatic scaling of the curve of channel 1. We deactivate the checkbox Auto Scale and enter minimum and maximum current scale values. Next we activate channel 2. We attribute the variable Actual Speed Averaged to channel 2. Again, we deactivate the checkbox Auto Scale and enter minimum and maximum speed scale values. Data sampling displays the total time, sampling time and the number of data acquisition samples. Total time is the entire time span of the acquisition period. Sampling time is the time slot where the values are being periodically measured. The selected total time affects the sampling time and vice versa. The number of samples is automatically calculated from the number of selected channels and cannot be changed. The data recorder can react to an event by means of the trigger functionality. Continuous acquisition. The data recorder is continuously being executed and visualized. Single trigger. The data recorder is continuously being executed and halted on the occurrence of an event. This is what we would like to set up here. Let us record a speed step by using the digital input enable as the trigger event. Select the single trigger type to be Digital Signals. Select Enable as the digital trigger signal. Select the mode Disable Enable. The adjustable time delay permits viewing the data history prior to the trigger event. 100% corresponds to the total time. Select 25% for instance. With this, the recorder is configured and the data acquisition can start. Press OK. Data acquisition is automatically started and waits for the configured Disable Enable event. Let's activate the digital input Enable and the motor accelerates from standstill to the set speed value. The data acquisition has been executed and was stopped upon the configured event. All the settings are displayed in a clearly arranged and colored way. The cursor function allows to mark and read out the signal amplitude and time at any point. Select Cursor On. The cursor will be displayed as colored square points with a vertical line with arrow. Signal amplitudes and time values are displayed in the legend. You can choose between two display modes. Linear. Linear interpolation will take place between two measured points. Sample and hold. No interpolation will take place between two measured values. With the right mouse click in the plot, the recorded data can be exported as an image or a data file. 